10 News was there as the couple held hostage by accused killer Christopher Dorner emerged from the very cabin where they spent several frightening hours, revealing to 10 News just what Dorner said and did that had them convinced their lives were likely over. Came in like with a cord and tied it. Got a couple it, extension cords. Tied it around. Well, put a pillowcase like, over a hit. The couple owns the resort where Dorner was hiding and was going there to make renovations on the cabin. 10 News reporter Kristen Severance begins our team coverage tonight from Big Bear with what Dorner admitted to them about his time in San Diego. We got word there was going to be a press conference right across the street in the parking lot in front of the cabin where Dorner was holed up for six days. Then out walks Jim and Karen Reynolds, the real victims in this story, and they told us their harrowing ordeal. The first thing that we would like to clarify is that we were the victims. Karen and Jim Reynolds say they were tied up by Christopher Dorner, not their maids, as authorities first reported. They own the resort and were refurbishing cabin number 203. They had not been there since February 6th, then walked in Tuesday morning and came face to face with Dorner. He opened the door and came out at us yeah, he and he had and his gun out, drawn. So he sort of yelled, stay calm and yeah. ran out. They knew it was Dorner right away. When he jumped out and hollered, stay calm, Karen screamed and turned and started running, and he ran after her. And he caught her about the, the door. Uh, on the staircase. On the staircase and, and brought her back. Yeah. They say he tied them up. First he had us lay on the bed and cross our feet. Then he changed his mind and had me lay on the floor, lay flat and cross my feet. And he bound those with the, the plastic. little plastic tied again, and then he pulled the hands real tight so he couldn't move, cut my circulation off, start going numb immediately. But he talked to them the whole time, trying to calm them down. Saying... Very frequently, he would not kill us, and and that's exactly how he had said that. He told us about the man in the boat in San Diego. He said he didn't kill him. He wasn't going to kill us. So yeah, we... he said it was a means to the end with that man, and that's what he wants from us. He needs transportation out of Big Bear. Jim Reynolds was anything but calm. He thought they were going to die. When he had me yeah. laying on the ground, yes, I really did. Yeah. I thought he's changed his mind. He was just trying to calm us down and get us in here, and he's going to do it. They say Dorner left for a moment but came back. Came in, like, with a cord and tied it. Got a couple it. extension cords. Tied it around. Well, we put a pillowcase like, over our head. The whole thing lasted 15 minutes. Then Dorner stole the couple's car, leaving the Reynolds and their cell phones. They explained how they worked together to escape. I was able to roll onto my knees and scoot over to the bed and actually get onto my feet. And and like kind of shuffled to where he was and got the door open. That's when Karen Reynolds said that she was able to kind of shimmy over and get the pillowcase off of her and her husband's head. I mean, they're just really in shock about this whole thing. They also told me that Dorner told them he did watch the coverage and they think from his vantage point from that cabin, he was able to look across the street the whole time and see the sheriff's command post in Big Bear. I'm Kristen Severance, 10 News.